Hi there, this is Will with Apex Gaming PCs. In today's video, we're going to show you exactly how to set up a PC after receiving it from us. All the contents from your PC will be in this sizable box and include a case box, accessory box, and other peripherals, except monitors, which are shipped separately. First, you want to get the box in a large open area, like a desk or floor, and get a box cutter or knife to open the tape sides. As you can see, packing peanuts surround the PC case box. So what you're going to want to do is take out the accessory box and the case box to put to the side. Looking at our PC case box, our PC is secured here. Go ahead and get your knife or box cutter and cut the tape sides. Your PC is secured with two styrofoam supports and a plastic bag. The best way to get the PC out of the PC case box is by flipping it over and letting gravity do the work. The next thing we want to do is remove the styrofoam supports. Following that, the plastic bag. You'll want to keep the plastic bag and styrofoam supports in the PC case box in any case that you need to move your PC or return it for an RMA processing. The next thing we're going to do is undo the glass side panel and remove the Instapack foam. You can do this by undoing the thumb screws on, those, on the side of your case. It may need a little effort, but it should just come right off. Now you're going to get one hand in there and slowly but surely wiggle the Instapack out of there. It may take some time and some force, but it'll come right out. And we'll also be putting this in the case box in any case that we need to move our PC again. Then we can put the panel back on. And then we're ready to install our connections. These are our supported connections for PCs with dedicated graphics cards. Most common connections are HDMI and DisplayPort, with DVI being the older standard but still available for our entry-level cards. To start, you can insert the connector into the back of the monitor, then plug the corresponding connector into the graphics card. Other PCs may only come with integrated graphics, rather than a dedicated GPU. In this case, you would plug the connector into the back of the motherboard. Next, plug your wall outlet to 3-pin connector into the back of your PC's power supply, which is located in your accessories box. After plugging the connection in, ensure that the switch on the back of the power supply is set to the on or I position. 
The last thing to do is to press the power switch on top of the case. And then you're all set to play your favorite games. If you encounter any issues or don't know how to proceed at any step, feel free to contact our support team at support at apexgamingpcs.com or call 215-565-1069. Thanks, and we hope to see you gaming.